Hey, people, people, and on today's vlog, we're playing Onatama Light and Shadow. This is the newest expansion to the Onatama series from Our King Wonders. Let's get to it! All right, maybe people. Well, let's go ahead and get into Onatama Light and Shadow. Light and Shadow? Yep. Light and Shadow. So Sarah's going to go ahead and explain it to us. Let's get into it. Hi. So this is Onatama with the Light and Shadow expansion included. Now, there are two different ways to play Light and Shadow, um, but we're going to talk about just the way of light today. Um, the, you can incorporate the uh, Way of the Wind expansion into this as well, but they don't recommend doing that unless you're sort of an expert Onatama player. Uh, so we're going to be showing off just the Way of the Light um, sort of version of light and shadow today with no other expansions. This is just the base game and way of the light. Um, so it's set up kind of normally um, to Onatama. We each get two movement cards and one is set off to the side. We put our, our master on uh, his main spot on the board here, but we only use two of our students and they start off in the corners like this. We each also get a screen, which is going to hide a matching board and a ninja. So this board right here sort of mirrors this board right here. Um, this location is actually where Nick's master is right now. This location is where my master is right now. And our ninja is going to be moving around on this sort of little board here. Um, and it's just kind of as if he were out here. So if I were to end up in this spot right here, while Nick's master were in that spot, my ninja would sort of pop out and assassinate his master. Um, so the ninja is functionally on this board, but using this little tiny board and this screen, we're able to keep the ninja's movements secret as he moves around the board. We also have these two lantern pieces. We each get two of them, uh, and they will help us sort of illuminate parts of the board while we look for the opponent's ninja. This also plays pretty similarly to the base game of Onatama. We're just going to choose a movement card. We're going to move one of our pieces using that movement card. Then if we want to, we can choose to move our ninja with the same movement card. Now we don't have to do this, but it's something that we can do on our turn. We have to use the same movement card, but we don't necessarily have to, to use like a, an exact movement. So for example, if I used the bear card to move my master one space forward like this, which is one of the ways that he can move here, I could uh, use the bear card to move my ninja one space diagonally backwards. So um, I have to use the same card, but I don't necessarily have to use the same movement. Uh, after I have done that, I'd switch out the cards like normal. And then if I wanted to, to end my turn, I could use one of my two lanterns. You only get two lanterns per game. And if you use them both, then you just don't get any more. What you do to use a lantern is you put it along the edge of the board, either here or here, and you're trying to illuminate a row or column. So for example, I could put it here and it would sort of uh, illuminate this row right here, or maybe I could put it here and it would illuminate this column right here. Basically, when you illuminate a row or column, your opponent has to tell you if their ninja is in that row or column. They don't have to tell you where, but they do have to truthfully answer if their ninja is in that row or column, just so you have a little bit of information about where their ninja may or may not be on the board. And that is everything you need to know. As soon as a player has assassinated one master's ninja, or if you've gotten, I'm sorry, as soon as a player has assassinated uh, one master, then they win the game. Or if you get your master into your opponent's throne, uh, that is the other way that you can win the game, just like the base game. The only difference is that in this game, you can defeat your opponent's pieces with your ninja. Should we try it? Yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. We'll uh, get back with you guys in uh, mid-game. Actually, I don't think this actually moves pretty fast, so there's probably not going to be a mid-game to this. We're just going to go straight for the throat <laughs> and be uh, who's the winner and loser. Especially, I know we're not going to show it today, but the I think it's the dark, the shadow version. 
Yeah, so uh, is really quick. This is a well. <laughs> it depends on I think if you're a skilled player or not. So this version, the Way of the Light, is a it's still a symmetrical game, just like um like regular base game Onatama is. But Way of the Shadow is an asymmetrical game where one player controls only ninjas behind their screen. They get two ninjas and they control only the ninjas, while the other player controls only one set of the sort of a uh, master. And and students um and, and you just throw that one is students into the fire <laughs> that one's an asymmetric experience so a little bit different a little bit it's like weight wise they're they're kind of the same but like um me- mechanically and like what you do on your turns and stuff like that is a little bit different um but yeah we're gonna do uh way of the light today all right well let's get into it Welcome back, Meeple people. And a good piece died today. My <laughs> master died today. He just got shanked in the back by a ninja. He didn't see it coming. Neither did I. Lo and behold, my ninja was about to do the same thing, but he kept missing his target because his target kept moving. I was like, come on, get over here. But uh, but yeah, Sarah is the victor of this game of Anatama, Anatama Light and Shadow. So Sarah, do you have any words as the victor of today's game? Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, so I was able to position my ninja in such a way that I was uh, able to take out Nick's master, sort of as a sneak attack, um, and I won the game. So. Very nice, very nice. So what do you think of this uh, expansion for Anatama? I think it's neat. I think having sort of the two different like modules, we have the, the Way of the Light and the Way of the Shadow, is really cool because it presents two different methods of play, which are pretty different, um, but they each add a unique twist on the existing game. It really doesn't, you don't need to know much more than the base game rules in order to play this, but it just sort of integrates seamlessly into those base game rules, um, but it really presents a totally different like strategy a totally different feel you know all that kind of stuff so they really did a great job adding just a little bit of new rules but a completely different take on on the game um i feel like i have a pretty bad short-term memory um i feel like if i had a better um short-term memory then there would be some parts of the game that i would enjoy a lot um for example you have these little lanterns and you can use them to sort of narrow down where your opponent's ninja might be on the board. By at the end of your turn, you can place one and you can make a guess that the uh, opponent's ninja is in the same row or column. So I could like put it here and be like, I think it's in this column. Or I put it here, I think it's in this row. And your opponent has to tell you whether or not they're there or not. I feel like that would be a lot more useful to me if I could more successfully sort of keep track of the movement cards that were played because the uh, ninjas can only use the same movement cards um, as... um, as the player uses to move like their standard piece on the game board. So, and at the beginning of the game, there's only two possible locations. They can be here or here on either side of the, um, the throne. So I feel like if I had better grasp on my short term memory, I could probably track at least a little bit better, you know, okay. Like the ninja is, is probably either going to be here or here at this point. And then these little lanterns would be more useful to me. But because my short-term memory is so bad, I just don't even attempt doing that. Um, I did use one of my lanterns, but I just really guessed. I was like, eh, maybe it's in this row or column. And it you wasn't. You were close, though. <laughs> you just missed me. Well, but, um... uh, I feel like if, I w- if my memory was better, those would be more useful um, and I would probably be, it would be less of a game where I was just sort of like poking around in the dark, um, especially with, with like, okay, it's fine when I have my ninja and I can see where he's going and stuff like that, but I have no idea what, ni- what Nick's ninja is doing the whole time. Um, Being a lazy bum, that's what. <laughs> so I feel like if my short-term memory was better, I would probably enjoy that sort of level of strategy a little bit more um but that's a personal issue not anything having to do with the game really um what did you think nick (laughs) well i lost sort of like that but um (laughs) other than that the 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 feel of the game was pretty good it's a nice addition to the game adds a little bit more to it 
kind of brings back a classic or older game. Um, I, I like when expansions don't come out right after the game's released. I kind of have my own opinions about that where I feel like, well, shouldn't that have just been in the base game and been like a variant of play? But um, this was good. It wasn't... Uh, they had some other expansions before this one, but I, I really enjoyed it, uh, especially the Shadow version. That was where one player is the ninjas and one player is the... Um, Let's see, is the, the masters and the students. And seriously, I, I think I was the masters and I was like, send them all. Like the first time I totally just died instantly. It, it wasn't even a comp, uh, uh, you know, it was just pitiful. And then the next time I was like, okay, just send my students in like, basically like swat around in the dark and hopefully you don't get shanked. And I won that way, but it was still interesting because it brought a little bit, uh, a new feel to the game, which was really interesting. But yeah, I think if you like Anatama and you want to add a little bit more to the game, this would be a great addition. But the only thing I would have to say is like, okay, it'd be a great addition. And I know some people will add like expansion on expansion on expansion, but if you added way of the winds piece, I think it just get nuts. I think it would just be so crazy and they don't recommend it unless like you've played and you're familiar with everything because things just get so loopy and you're like, where was that? Where was that? And oh, did I just use my, the way the wind piece to reveal where my ninja is now? And then you're just like, oh my gosh, this is just crazy. But yeah, they don't recommend do doing that until you get very comfortable with it. But even then, once you're comfortable and you play it, I feel like it's just maddening. But I would recommend this to people that like Anatama and just like games. I, yeah, if you you don't even have Anatama, it's a it's a good game for if you like strategy short, you know, two player strategy games. Anything else, Sarah? Nope, not really. Cool. Well, that was again Anatama. Light and Shadow by Arcane Wonders. We picked this up from Gen Con. They went ahead and gave us a review copy, which was we really appreciate. But yeah, we'll hopefully see you all next time on our next vlog. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do so. Until next time, we'll see you all later. Toodles!